Today we're on the beautiful campus of Northern Michigan University, which is home of the Wildcat. NMU is located in Marquette, Michigan, on the southern shore of Lake Superior. Marquette, which has been named one of America's most livable communities, is a quaint town with a population of 20,000. I think one of the unique things about Marquette is so many people have moved here, professionals in the healthcare industry, education, and, and small businesses from other places and they brought the best of what they've loved from those places, the coffee shops, the ethnic foods, the arts and cultural scene. It's a very active community um, and then you can go from campus five minutes and be on mountain biking trails, hiking, kayaking, canoeing, so all that really appeals to students, not to mention winter sports like skiing and snowboarding as well. Northern Michigan enrolls about 9,400 students, 54% of which are women, compared to 46% men. Incoming freshmen need a GPA of 2.25 or better in college preparatory subjects, and a minimum ACT composite score of 19, or a minimum combined SAT score of 900. Northern believes students should have a right to try college. We want every student to succeed, and we put all the resources we can at their fingertips hoping that they'll take the next step and utilize it. We have intercurriculum tutoring, so our seniors in the, in the program are willing and able to tutor the freshmen and sophomores and classwork and, and more. Tuition for Michigan residents is a great value at about $7,500 per year, including fees, which provide every student with a notebook computer. Out-of-state students pay a little over $12,000 per year, and room and board costs run about an additional $7,800 per school year. 80% of students get financial aid, averaging $9,400 each. NMU provides more than 180 undergraduate and 30 graduate programs, giving students lots of opportunities to create their future. Plus, with an average lecture size of 30, average lab size of 17, and an average seminar size of just 10, students can really interact with their professors and get involved in learning. I even did my internship on campus and because of the internship I am going to graduate with experience inside and outside the classroom. There are a lot of opportunities here on campus. You work hands-on in your field, not just through books. So I think in that aspect, um, NMU has definitely given a lot of kids the advantage. Some of the most popular majors include nursing, art and design, elementary education, and criminal justice. NMU has a unique leadership program. It's the only one in the U.S. that packs leadership, community engagement, diversity awareness, and real-world experience into one life-changing program. It's called the Superior Edge, and it develops citizen leaders for the 21st century. Being involved in these different programs has definitely helped my confidence le level. I've noticed an increase in leadership abilities, capabilities, and also just general communication. I'm able to work be better with others and just communicate well. NMU has talented, caring faculty members and teaching is job one for them. 70% of all entry-level classes are taught by career faculty. The faculty here are outstanding. Their emphasis is on teaching. The focus here is really on the student learner. We want to find out what works best for the students that we have and then we want to push ourselves to see what else we could do. Northern has one Wildcat athletic team competing at the NCAA Division I level, men's hockey. Another 12 teams compete at the NCAA Division II level. NMU also has a full program of club and intramural athletics. NMU even has the 8,000 seat Superior Dome, which is the largest wooden dome in the world, hosting everything from sporting events to concerts. The students are just really, really taking in all this school spirit, and it's really awesome. The hockey games are incredible. It is so cool to see all the students in this fan section with these popcorn shakers just going nuts. Check this out. Each year, students in NMU's 10 residence halls can take place in the How Rad Is Your Pad contest to see who has the coolest room. Almost a third of Northern students choose to call campus home, and freshmen and sophomores are required to live on campus. The dorms are awesome. I, I lived in Gantt for two years, and it was just an awesome experience. Everybody wants to do things together. You go out in the courtyard, play frisbee, football, whatever, and you really develop some of those good, solid friendships that you really need to have to get through college successfully. The one house on campus um, in the residence hall that does their polar plunge every December. They jump into Lake Superior and, and that was pretty funny. Northern Michigan students can take part in 300 clubs and organizations on campus. Last year, NMU students provided over 40,000 hours of volunteer service in our community.
I bet you didn't know that NMU is designated as the only U.S. Olympic Education Center. Elite athletes in boxing, Greco-Roman wrestling, short track speed skating, and weightlifting train for international and Olympic competitions while pursuing their educations at NMU. In fact, in 2009, Northern was the site of the U.S. Olympic trials for short track speed skating, as well as the final World Cup meet in that sport prior to the Winter Olympic Games. The athletics department is amazing, as are the arts and the theater department um, and the music department. And one of the things that brings us all together is that we are wildcats. If you're looking for a superior college experience in a location with tons of natural beauty and excitement, be sure to check out Northern Michigan University today. Thanks for joining us here in Marquette, Michigan on our tour of Northern Michigan University. I'm Shana Jean, and I'll see you next time.